Welcome back. It's Tip Tuesday, and I'm Shortcut Sherry. And today's tip is about OneNote. But wait, why does my screen have Outlook if it's OneNote? Because OneNote and Outlook work together. If you have to keep emails for any reason, and I can think of a few, keeping them in your Outlook can bloat up your inbox, it makes it hard to search, and guess what? Nobody else can see it. So one of the scenarios that I have is when I'm working on projects. Let's go over to OneNote. I always have a notebook for my projects, and often these projects are shared with other people. So instead of having to forward emails that I'm receiving so that people can see them, I'm going to put them here. My projects always have a meetings tab, a research tab, and I always add in a section for emails. And I store my emails here. In Outlook, I may have put them in folders to kind of segregate them and put them in their own space so I can get my head around what's going on. But during the project, if I want to share it with other people, or after the project's done if I need to archive them, OneNote is an excellent option for this. I have a very good friend named Denise, and Denise, if you're listening, yes, I remember. She told me I changed her life with this, with sending her emails to OneNote. Made my day. All right, so if I wanted to send these emails to OneNote, select your email, and then on your ribbon on the Home tab, select Send to OneNote. If this is the first time you've done that, it's going to have you authenticate to OneNote, and then you pick your open notebook. So I have the Markate project team. Here's the email section I just created, and then I'm going to click Save. All right, now I'm going to open that in OneNote, and guess what? Here's the web version of OneNote. Everybody on my team has access to this notebook. So why would I send them the emails when I can put them here? Another thing that I think is really cool about sending it to OneNote is anything with an attachment, the attachments also go with the emails. So here's one that has a voicemail that has an audio recording. I'm going to send that one to OneNote. Again, to the same section. And here is a PowerPoint presentation. And save that one. Back in OneNote, I now have three emails sitting in the email section. Here is the attachment for the presentation. I can open it directly from here and work on it or view it if I need to. On the voicemail, double click, and it plays in my default audio player. So cool! The other nice thing about notebooks is you can close them. You don't have to have all the notebooks open all the time. Therefore, you can archive your emails from your projects, close those notebooks. If you ever need to go back and look at them, you can. Otherwise, they're just tucked away. My not so quick tip, but hopefully helpful for you, sending your emails to OneNote. If you like this tip, join us every Tuesday when we share our Power Tip Tuesdays. And check out our website for the events we have coming up, including Waffle Wednesday. Because on Wednesdays, we are learning waffles. Thanks for joining me. I'm Shortcut Sherry, and it's my job to make your job easier.